I make your host with the most stars, your girlfriends and your wives. So yesterday, Joker Folly Adu, very exciting for any DC fan, any fan of film, Joker Folly Adu premiered at the Venice Film Festival. Soon after that, the reviews were out. Now, this film is not released for another month, so it shows you that WB are not worried about this film. But Joker Folly Adu's reviews were mixed. Why, you ask? Is it really a bad film? Can we trust the Californian critics at Variety and the Hollywood Reporter to give us a good report on Todd Phillips' sequel to the 2019 Joker movie? Absolutely not. These people have still got an axe to grind. They try to tell you if you went to see the first film, you could get shot and killed because they didn't like Todd Phillips' social commentary of the first film. Talking about a man like Arthur being let down by society. Society reaps what it sows. Todd Phillips' message in that movie was absolutely right. But woke Californian critics who feel, um, you know, rings of power is, is gone with the wind, you know, are still very, very angry and believe that characters of men like Arthur Fleck, the Joker, are just incels and they should just be dumped in an asylum, a prison, you know, given the death penalty. This is what the left has become. So they're still very, very angry that they weren't able with their influence, which they certainly don't have anymore, to persuade you not to go and see the first movie. So what are they doing? They're trying the same thing all over again, but they're trying a new tact. So the, you know, at the end of the day, the reviews are mixed. Some people saying it's dull. Some people saying the songs are great. Lady Gaga is the best Harley. She deserves an Oscar. Some people are saying that they haven't really done anything different. There's not much of a story to tell. It's not much of a film. So some people saying that Todd Phillips should be put on trial for crimes against art. So it really is a Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice kind of reaction. Some critics loved it, some critics hated it. I'm not telling you you should trust the ones that loved it any more than the ones that hated it. Here's an old fashioned idea. Go and watch the movie for yourselves. So I have seen this picture. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I have a lot to say about it. And when I do review this picture, we will really be talking deeply about it. On YouTube, I will do a half an hour video and I will do a bite-sized video on X Twitter, Instagram and Threads. So we will get in to this film. Now isn't the time for me to review this film because obviously most of you haven't seen it and it wouldn't be fair. And I don't want to do a non-spoiler review. I really want to get deep into this film. What Todd Phillips has done with this film He's been brave and bold. If he just repeated the first film, they would have criticised him for repeating himself and not being brave and bold. This is a challenging movie. Challenging movies, you know, movies should challenge their audiences. You know, this has been happening since movies began. In Cronenberg's Dead Ringers, people were debating, was it right for the Mantle Twins to kill themselves at the end of the movie? These things have been happening for a very long time, and that's great. You should be challenged as an audience. We should be challenged as audiences. We have nostalgia bait these days. We have creative bankruptcy. We have really, really bad entertainment. Like Todd Phillips doesn't care what the critics say about him. This is his final foray in the comic book movie universe. You know, Joker was, you know, Arthur Fleck's Joker was never going to be doing battle with Batman if that's what you're expecting. Some of the reviews say that you, the audience, will hate this movie, especially if you love the first movie. And the only way to see if the critics are right or wrong is to go and see it. But I knew this movie was always going to be polarizing from the first moment Todd Phillips announced it was going to be a musical. That was a very, very brave decision to make it a musical. We're not in the 1930s. It isn't popular to do musical movies. So we'll see on September the 9th when they release the ticket, when they do the pre-sales for the tickets, we'll see how many people want to see it. What's interesting is normally when critics hate something, but you know, it's a respected director and things like that, normally people flock to see it. 
So it'll be very interesting how well or how badly Joker Folly Ado does.